Hello everyone, welcome to Lisa Horton Crafts. My name is Natalia. Today I will show you how I've created inky backgrounds using 3D embossing folders. So here I'm using a false glove 3D embossing folder and I'm adding inks to the embossing folder. So here I'm adding three, uh, six by six card to the embossing folder and I'm embossing. So here I'm um, decided uh, to add more colors for a brighter look. Adhering card back to the embossing folder, trying to be sure it's in the place and embossing again. You can see slightly darker colors. So now I will clean the embossing folder by spraying some water to the embossing folder and clear, clearing away with micro clothes. So here I will be using another uh, 3D embossing folder, slim line. And I'm using uh, three colors, yellow colors, um, from darkest to the light, and I'm creating an ombre effect. So I'm adding inks to the uh, embossing folder. And here I'm adding card, closing, and embossing. So here I will add more colors. So I'm leaving the card in the embossing folder, as you can see and adding more inks. Try to be sure the card is not move moving and I'm embossing the card. And here is the card. So here I'm showing you again, I'm cleaning the embossing folder with micro clothes and water. So for this, I'm using Hibiscus 3D embossing folder. And I will use only one color ink. So as you can see, I'm adding to the um, embossing folder for the background. So here I'm just leaving card in the embossing folder and I'm adding inks to the embossing folder again for brighter color. Here is the card. Cleaning embossing folder again. So here I'm using Clematis and I'm using the same um, one uh, color ink only. And I'm doing the same as a previous embossing folder. Here I've already embossed Ditsy Florals um, card using um, Ditsy Florals embossing folder. I'm using a um, dusty concord color and I'm adding more colors to the bottom to get darker and gradually add more colors to the top. And I'm using um, a brushes to blend the inks is easier to blend. So I'm drawing the uh, background um, inks and here I'm using gold wax. As you can see, I'm adding wax to the glass mat first and then I'm applying to the um, embossed area. So 
So here are embossed backgrounds uh, with inks. So now I will show you how I watercolored image using uh, inks and I'm using Cedis Preserves and Dusty Concord water and a little brush. So I'm coloring the flowers with Cedis Preserves first as you can see and I'm trying not to use too much water uh, because this is 250 JSM card. So I'm coloring the uh, little buds of the foxglove flower and I'm trying not to cover all of it, you can see a bit of white. And here I will uh, watercolor the rest of the florals uh, with the seedless preserves. So here I'm using a dusty concord and I will um, add as a shade uh, to the top of the buds just for a little dimension. Now we'll color the rest of the florals with this ink.
So here I'm adding more acid this preserve to the center of the little buds. And here I've decided to use a, another purple color, a wilted violet, and to add more colors uh, to the florals. And I'm adding um, this wilted violet uh, to the rest of the flowers. So here I'm using my little swatch book uh, to choose some green colors for the leaves. So I've chose uh, mauve blonde and pine needles. Here I'm coloring with the uh, lighter green color first the stamens and the leaves And here I'm coloring um, the rest of the leaves. And now I'm adding a um, darker color green uh, for the shading. And I'm continuing to color the rest of the leaves. Here is the uh, watercolored embossed floral. Watch part 2 where I'll be making some cards uh, with those inky embossed backgrounds. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit uh, the notification bell for more video tutorials. Take care. Bye.